Morning guys, welcome back to the Drop to Pollock Fishing. We've just got ourselves a bait pump. See, I told you. Get one. Have you got it? Yeah. I, I told you you're supposed to. Yeah, I told you you're supposed to. Did you get that? Yeah. Did you definitely get that? Pretty sure. So this is the first time pumping for worms, um, not 100% sure what we're doing. We got half a dozen, which were a nice little start. So we all had a go. Uh, we bought it from Fleetwood at Ben's shop, Fleetwood Tackle Supplies. So that's us setting up now. Get a rod in the water, see if we can get a catch. Morning, morning, back at Fleetwood again. Uh, I've got a one up, one down rig, four ounce gripper weight. So, Dominic, my lad, is having a go with our new bait pump. So, we've had a couple of worm. He seems happy, trying for more. He's got one. Bring it here, Dom. Is it a full one? No. No. No half measures, Dom. That's the tiniest part of a worm ever. Too deep, mate. Just a little bit shallower, but good. Stick it in the bucket, though. Yeah. Right, see how we get on. Oh, no. So now look, we've got half a dozen worms under his belt, 194 more, and it's paid for itself. What a good do. So what you've just seen now is me pulling weed off the hook, off the line, repeatedly. I've slowed this down just to see how easily I'm casting out. I'm really not that far out. Uh, that's why I caught the bass on my last video, so we'll try again for that. Great, new batteries, new bait. Loads and loads of seaweed. Round three. This is the fourth trip that's been like similar to this. The third one was the one where I caught the bass, which were great, really happy with that. But three out of four trips we've blanked. And we've had problems with seaweed. We're not sure if we're getting bites. It's frustrating. But I had my lad with me and I was really happy about that. So he's having a go now. We thought we got a knock again. There were nothing there. When we did get bites, the only thing that I noticed that all the ends of the worms were missing. So I'm considering trying two hooks in one. So a hook right near the end of the tail to see if it makes a difference. Other than that, I start to set up uh, my tiny spinning rod. It gives opportunity for Dominic to have a practice at casting, ready for when he moves on at bigger rods. Right, so that is a Sidewinder weedless minnow. Um, I'm going to get Dominic, me, lad, on just doing a bit of casting. A bit of practice for him, keep him entertained as well. Um, it'll be off camera. If he gets some up, spin camera around.
Dominic must have done a good hour of casting, practicing, casting, practicing. Um, he loved it. So, yeah, if you've if you've got kids, Dominic's eleven. If you've got kids, take them with you, give them a chance with something like this. They'll enjoy it, and if they do get a fish, they'll go absolutely bananas. His favourite part were definitely pumping for the worm. He really enjoyed that. And all three of me boys have been asking, can we go again? Can we go again? Can we go again? It's just getting a little bit hard to get a video out when you don't get any bites. So, again, thought I'd had a bite. It just went dead. When I do reel it in, back half of worms missing. Again, frustrating. Nice little bite, I reeled in, uh, nothing was there unfortunately, my son's uh, low fishing in background, he got a knot, so rebate, try again. So first bite, we'll be lad casting over my line, so we've got that sorted. Then second rod went, which looked like a nice bite, but nothing there, so straight back out, we'll see if there's all out of that. Right, the tide's on its way out. It's, we've only had a couple of bites at best. Um, nothing major. I'm pretty much giving up on fishing now. I'm going to see if uh, tide goes out. My lad wants to have a go at pumping for worm again. So I'm going to turn off now. If anything good happens, I'll get video back on. All the best.